This is a photograph of an absolutely remarkable young woman. This is 15-year-old Maria Dolechelova, and she is testifying at a war crimes trial in 1947. Maria testified about what happened to her, to her family, and to her town during World War II. When Maria was just nine in the summer of 1942, German authorities annihilated her town, Lidice. This was a small Czech town. It had about 500 people, and it was maybe 12 kilometers from Prague. The Germans chose this town as the place to carry out an act of reprisal and revenge. They wanted to avenge the assassination of Nazi leader Reinhard Heydrich. They alleged that this town had helped carry out the assassination or had helped the assassins or was somehow involved in the resistance. But there's absolutely no evidence of this. This was essentially just a quiet town, 500 people minding its own business. And on that day in June, 1942, German authorities burned the town to the ground. They shot most of the men and then they deported the women to concentration camps, mostly to Ravensbrück. The children were taken to Łódź in German-occupied Poland, where they underwent what the Germans called racial screening. This meant that German officials examined them to try to determine whether they had, quote, German blood, whether they could be Germanized, made from Czechs into Germans. Of the children, only nine were considered to be Germanizable, and among them was Maria. The rest were killed, likely at the Helmno Killing Center. After the war, Czech authorities managed to find Maria and to bring her back to Czechoslovakia. Maria discovered that her father and her brother, both named Joseph, had been killed, but that her mother, Asbeta, had survived the Ravensbrück concentration camp. The two women were briefly reunited before Osbeta sadly passed away. All of this happened to Maria before this photograph was taken, before she testified, before she traveled from her home in Czechoslovakia to Nuremberg, Germany, and stood before a tribunal to describe all of the things that had happened to Lidica and to her. In Czechoslovakia, officials decided that they would not allow Lidica to be forgotten. They decided they would rebuild the town and turn the ruins of the original town into a memorial. The women and the few children who had managed to survive World War II moved into the village and worked at the memorial. The Czechoslovak authorities were determined that the Nazis would not succeed in erasing Lidica from a map. They created a memorial on the ruins of the town and built a new town nearby. Many of the women and the few children who had survived the war lived there and worked the memorial. Maria continued to tell the story of what happened in Lidica, and she died in 2021.